when you pray that is when the miracle happens not before the prayer not after the prayer but during the prayer that is when god is going to be in action the first day of this retreat we had discussed about it when soul was praying at this moment he was praying he is praying god said at this moment he is praying therefore ananias go and help him at this moment he is praying when you are praying at the moment of your prayer god is in action praise the lord praise, praise the, lord. the lord that is very important is true that god also works before the prayer and also after the prayer but at the moment of prayer god is seriously in action for you let's read some passages from the bible gospel of luke chapter 9 verse 28 onwards gospel of luke chapter 9 verse 28 onwards we read now about 8 days after these sayings now about 8 days after these sayings now about 8 days after these t- sayings now about 8 days after these sayings Jesus took with him Peter and John and James. Jesus, Jesus took, took with, with him Peter and John and, and James. And went up on the mountain to pray. And, and went, went up on the, the mountain, mountain to pray. pray. So he took three disciples and went up to the mountain to pray. Was 29. And while he was praying, and while, while he was, was praying, the appearance of his face changed. The, the appearance, appearance of his face changed. And his clothes became dazzling white. And his clothes became dazzling white. white. While he was praying, while, while he, he was, was praying, praying, the appearance of his face changed. The appearance of his face changed. And his clothes became dazzling white. And his clothes became dazzling white. When you pray, while he was praying, his appearance changed. Transformation, transfiguration. While he was praying, while you pray your appearance will be changed your body will be transformed your sickness will disappear your viruses bacteria will go out and your whole body parts every every part of your body will be renewed recreated while you are praying your appearance will be changed your appearance of kidney will be changed your heart will be changed every internal organs will be changed every body part will be changed appearance of it will be changed if there is any kind of sickness or any kind of bondages it will be changed while you are praying while he was praying the appearance of his face changed praise the lord praise the lord let's also read acts of the apostle chapter 9 verse 10 onwards we read like this Acts the apostle chapter 9 verse 10 Now there was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias Now there was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias The Lord said to him in a vision The Lord said to him in a vision Ananias Ananias He answered He answered Here I am Lord Here I am Lord was 11 The Lord said to him The Lord said to him Get up and go to the street called Straight Get up and go to the street called Straight At the house of Judas At the house of Judas Look for a man of Tarsus Look for a man of Tarsus Name Saul Name Saul At this moment he is praying At this moment he is praying See when he is praying same same Paul was praying in one side another side God is in action God is moving things for him During the prayer that is why during these one and a half hours of adoration mighty things are happening in your family and your surrounding and even in your body because at this moment you are praying at this moment you are praising at this wo- moment you are worshiping i hope you are really joining and praying it's not that you are to switch on the tv and walking around i hope you are joining for the prayer at this moment you are praising and worshiping god therefore at this moment the miracles and wonders are happening right now praise the lord praise the lord let's read gospel of luke chapter 3 verse 21 onwards gospel of luke chapter 3 verse 21 now when all the people were baptized now when, when all the people, people were baptized and when jesus also had been baptized and when jesus, jesus also, also had been baptized, baptized and was praying and was, was praying the heavens was opened the heaven was opened see when jesus also been baptized and was praying the heaven was opened when you are praying the heaven is opened anybody who is praying above him the heaven kept opened when you are praying anywhere wherever you are praying above you the heavens opened the moment you are in prayer the heavens opened above you 
praise the lord praise the lord if you want to open the heaven always pray always when you pray the heavens open in front of you praise the lord praise the lord is very important my dear brothers and sisters at this moment he is praying and when he was praying heaven opened while he was praying his appearance changed his whole body changed this is the power of prayer if you don't know how to pray just repeat the name of jesus look at the face of the blessed sacrament and look at the face of jesus and just say thank you jesus thank you jesus this is prayer when you feel the presence of god next to you i'm embracing you it is prayer when you believe that you are a child of god you are moving in the hand of god you are protected by the presence of god it is a prayer even when you travel even when you go for a walk even when you sit quietly you can be in prayer if you feel the presence of god and thank him in our heart and say thank you jesus praise you jesus if you just repeat the name of jesus you are in prayer at this moment when you pray the miracles are happening for you the the lord is in action in favor of you your appearance is getting changed heavens getting opened above you that is the power of prayer psalm 148 45 was 18 psalm 145 was 18 the word of god speaks to us right now the lord is ready to listen to everyone's prayer the lord will listen especially those who are broken hearted wounded those who are in helpless situation the lord will never reject you they will the lord will never abandon you psalm 145 was 18 we read like this the lord is near to all who call on him the lord is near to all who call on him to all who call on him in truth to all who call on him in truth is very important word of god the lord is near to all who call on him anybody who called the name of jesus the lord is near to them anyone who called the name of jesus anyone who is praising god praying the lord is near to you therefore my dear brothers and sister any time when you pray believe the lord is near you the lord is near to all those who call on him whenever you pray remember the lord is standing close to you it is sure if god says through the word of god it is true it is 100% sure believe it blindly because the lord is true anybody who calls on the name of god anyone who prays god the lord is close to them the lord is near to them So do not get discouraged any time when you are in danger just call him he is near to you any time when you are in need of him just call him he is near to you any time you are in pain the sorrow depression confusion tension agonies any kind of confusion just call him he is near to you it is for sure it is 100% true my dear brothers and sisters just believe he is near to you praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus let's also read luke chapter 22 verse 31 you know when you pray for others in the session to others is very important jesus himself interceded for others simon simon listen satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat satan has demanded to sift but instead of commanding the satan not to sift what did jesus do jesus prayed but i have prayed for you that your own faith may not fail and you when once you have turned back strengthen your brothers so what does it mean let's put it together we read like this Simon, Simon, Jesus said, Simon, Simon, listen, Satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat. So when Jesus knows that Satan is demanding to sift Peter and all the other disciples to like wheat, why can't Jesus stop the Satan? Why didn't he command the Satan to get out? But instead, Jesus prayed 
that when the satan is sifting peter and others they should not lose faith they should be strong they should come out to victorious what does it mean that means the sifting of the satan is good for us because when we come out victorious we will be able to strengthen others we will be able to help others god knows this jesus knows this that is why jesus said when the satan demanded to sift all of you like wheat i prayed for you that your faith may not fail jesus did not say i prayed so that double be- satan is out no satan let him do whatever he wants to do every work that satan does it is going to be beneficial for you it is going to be a profit for you it is going to be most powerful for you you are going to be more powerful the satan that uh, satan that is why the lord is allowing the satan to sift all of you like wheat because it is going to bring strength and that's why jesus said i prayed for you that your own faith may not fail and once you have turned back that means once you overcome this the temptation of the devil you will be able to strengthen your brothers praise the lord praise the lord saint john paul the second pope he went through parkinson sickness all throughout his life satan was sifting him every day but he never got healing though he is the pope he was the pope but saint john paul the second came out of all these afflictions never lost faith never never gave up and now saint john paul the second is a saint and for his canonization one of the testimonies of miracles that was approved by vatican was a parkinson sickness and none with the parkinson sickness was healed through the powerful intercession of saint john paul ii now saint john paul ii is able to strengthen his brothers and sisters because he came out of it now he is able to strengthen others that is the purpose of god that is why god doesn't chase out satan he satan is also among us satan is also moving among us tempting us sifting us tr- t- testing us trying us but don't worry the all these testings of the satan is going to be turned to to be a big blessing and big power big strength in our lives and our prayers will help us for that jesus prayed so that saint peter was helped not to not to escape from the satan but to defeat the satan and his temptations praise the lord praise the lord is very important my dear brothers and sisters to know these facts my dear brothers and sisters jesus in his life whenever he took any important decision important action a mighty miracle or any important event in his life before that important event he spent time in prayer and silence before any important events of jesus any miracles or any selection any important events decisions of his life before that he spent time in prayer and silence we can see from the bible let's read mark chapter 1 verse 12 to 15 we read jesus before he started the public ministry he f- fasted for 40 days and the spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness was 13 he was in the wilderness 40 days tempted by satan and he was with the wild beast and the angels waited on him 40 days he spent in prayer and verse 15 he was verse and now after john was arrested jesus came to galilee proclaiming the good news of god he started his public ministry after 40 days of prayer when you start any important decisions of your life how much you pray is very important for us to remember let's read mark chapter 14 was 23 onwards before walking on the water 
Jesus spent the whole night in prayer. We yesterday we reflected about it. We before walking on the water the whole night he was in prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Matthew chapter 14 verse 23. Mass Matthew chapter 14 verse 23 onwards. Jesus spent the whole night in prayer before walking on the water and after he had dismissed the crowd he went up the mountain by himself to pray when evening came he was there alone was 24 and but by this time the boat battered by the waves was far from the land for the wind was against them and was 25 and early in the morning he came walking toward them on the sea praise the lord praise the lord he spent the whole night in prayer praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus we read matthew chapter 17 was one before the transfiguration 6 days later after jesus spoke about all these things 6 days later jesus took with him peter james and his brother and john and led them up to high mountain by themselves in one gospel it is said 6 days let's read luke chapter 9 verse 28 Luke chapter 9 verse 28 let's read read this word of God now about 8 days after these sayings Jesus took with him Peter John and James went upon the mountain to pray there he was transfigured before transfiguration 8 days Jesus was in silence he did not do anything nothing is written about the 8 days of his life and he was in prayer silence eight days he was preparing 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 praying praying silence silence at the end transfiguration on mount tabor praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus. Jesus. jesus we also read from when jesus raised lazarus from death before raising lazarus from death jesus stayed though jesus knew that he is dead he stayed back there for four days and only after four days he came and raised lazarus from death he stayed in silence and prayer after four days of silence and prayer jesus came and raised lazarus from death we read in the uh, gospel of john chapter 11 uh, four onwards we read and also we know luke chapter 6 verse 12 luke chapter 6 verse 12 now during those days he went out to the mountain to pray and he spent the night in prayer to god the whole night he spent time in prayer and when they came he called his disciples and chose 12 of them and whom he also called apostles before selecting the 12 apostles the whole night he spent time in prayer night vigil he did night vigil the whole night praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank he you spent jesus. the whole night in prayer to god he spent the whole night in prayer and the next day he selected the 12 apostles from these examples we know before we start any business any ministry any decision any important decision we need to spend lot of time in prayer and silence only then the right decision of god will be revealed to you and me we need to pray We need to spend time in the presence of God. We need to do fasting and penances. Jesus fasted, Jesus kept silence, Jesus prayed, Jesus Jesus did night vigil, Jesus knelt down and prayed even before the public ministry. 30 years he was in silence and for 3 years of public ministry. 30 years he was in silence. Before the passion, the whole night in Gethsemane shedding blood he pray- prayed in gethsemane he prayed the next day the passion before every event there was prayer there was silence there is mirac- the lord spent in time in prayer therefore we also need to do the same my brothers and sisters we were reflecting about the prayer life the power of prayer let us read today let us read this word of god how to pray one uh, one word of god let's read sirach chapter 35 verse 17 to 23 let us read this word of god sirach 35 verse 17 onwards let's read this word of god repeat after me this word of god speaks to us he will not ignore the supplication of the orphan he will not ignore the supplication of the orphan the bible says he will not ignore the supplication of the orphan the one who feel alone in this world 
the one who has nobody in this world the one who feel lonely and terribly lonely and no one is there to take care of you the lord will never ignore your prayer the lord will never ignore your prayer or the widow or the widow when she pours out her complaint when she pours out her complaint someone who has no one a widow a widower or someone who has nobody to take care or support her the one who is struggling living single and who the when you pray when you pour out your pain when you complain to the lord the lord will never ignore your prayers the lord will never ignore your prayers the struggles that you are going through because you are alone you don't have husband you don't have your wife you are don't have anyone to take care of you you feel so lonely you are an orphan like leading an orphan like experience life the lord says i will never ignore he will not ignore the supplication was 18 we read like this do not the tears of the widow run down her cheek do not the tears of the widow run down her cheek do not don't the lord the lord will never allow a widow to cry it was 19 as she cries out against the one who causes them to fall as she cries out against the one who causes them to fall was 20 the one whose service is pleasing to the lord the one, the one whose who service is pleasing, pleasing to the lord will be accepted will be accepted and his prayer will reach to the clouds and his prayer will reach to the clouds the lord says the one whose service is pleasing to the lord will be accepted for example whatever work you do it should be pleasing god it should please god your business never do anything that is not pleasing god your business your job your service your ministry whatever you do do what is pleasing to the lord do not do anything that is not pleasing to the lord for example if you are selling if you are having a shop and you are selling things do not sell alcohol drugs and drinks and smoking other things anything that is not good for the other person's body and life never ever sell these things in your business because those kinds of things will disturb and hurt our lord jesus christ we are not supposed to do any business which is going to harm the other person it is not pleasing to the lord if we don't do anything if we if you do some kind of business or any work which is not pleasing to the lord our prayer will not reach heaven our prayers will not be heard but god says the one whose service is pleasing to the lord even the men you knew a ministry when you support in your parish when you do the ministry in a retreat center and when you do something good for others do it in such a way that it is pleasing to the lord don't ever do any work any ministry which bring displeases in the hands of god in front of god do not do anything that bring displeases sometimes we do ministry sometimes we do services grumbling grudging complaining gossiping this will block our spiritual life this will block our prayer life and our prayers will be blocked therefore the lord says the one whose service is pleasing to the lord will be accepted and his and her prayer will reach to the clouds let's read verse 21 we read the prayer of the humble the prayer, prayer of, of the, the humble pierces the clouds pierces the clouds and it will not rest until it reaches its goal and, and it will not rest until it reaches its goal it will not desist it will not desist until the most high responds until the most high responds you know the most powerful word of god you know that word of god says the prayer of the humble pierces the clouds and it will not rest until it reaches its goal and it will not desist until the most high responds that is the most powerful prayer so what is the most powerful prayer prayer of the humble a person who is so humble his prayer will be piercing the clouds who is humble that is why my dear brothers and sisters in our retreat centers pilgrim centers and the holy places 
all the shrines and other places people humble themselves if you go to fatima you can see people kneeling down for almost 500 700 meters in front of the main church the the chapel apparition chapel there are so many people kneeling down and walking for almost 600 700 meters kneeling down is so painful first of all secondly in front of the whole crowd you are humbling yourself and kneeling down and walking in mejugori there are people walking barefoot and climbing the whole mountain where there is piercing the piercing stones all over the mountain but people are walking barefoot they are humbling themselves in velangani in india their people walk kneel down and walk almost a kilometer with the, on their knees through the sands and humbling themselves some people even shave off their ha- hair and then and surrender in themselves totally to the mother mary these are nothing but humbling experiences they humble themselves the lord says the prayer of the humble pierces the clouds and it will not rest until it reaches his goal every day when you have family prayer when you kneel down and lift up your hands remember you your children have never seen you kneeling down and lifting up the hands your children are always used to think of you highly but when they see you humbling yourself in front of the lord in front of the picture of jesus remember this is going to bring mighty blessings sometimes we prefer to sit comfortably royally and pray but try to sit in front of the lord on the floor kneeling down lifting up the hands humbling then you will see the miracles and wonders happening anybody who humble themselves and pray the power of the lord will be manifested in their lives the prayer of the humble pierces the clouds and it will not rest until it reaches the its goal it will not desist until the most high responds verse 22 we read like this and does justice for the righteous the and lord will do justice for the righteous and does justice for the righteous and does justice, justice for, for the righteous and executes judgment and, and executes, executes judgment. judgment indeed indeed the lord will not delay the lord, the lord will, will not, not delay. delay and like a warrior and like, like a warrior will not be patient will not be patient until he crushes the loins of the unmerciful until, until he crushes the loins of the unmerciful was 23 we read like this and repays vengeance on the nations and repays vengeance, vengeance on the, the nations until he destroys the multitude of the insolent until, until he destroys the multitude of the insolent and breaks the scepters of the unrighteous and breaks the scepters of the unrighteous my dear brothers and sisters the lord will not delay if you humble yourself and pray the lord will not delay let's read second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 onwards second chronicles chapter chapter 7 verse 14 onwards let us read this word of god second chronicle chapter 7 verse 14 if my people if my people who are called by my name who are called by my name humble themselves humble themselves pray pray seek my face seek my face and turn from their wicked ways and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven then i will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will forgive their sin and heal their land and heal their land if my people who are called by my name called by my name means when you are baptized the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit is written on your forehead written on your chest written on your palm you are baptized in the name of god and therefore you are called by my name the lord says therefore if you pray and seek my face look only my face and turn from all your wicked ways and humble yourselves i will hear from heaven and forgive your sin heal your land praise the lord praise the lord so my dear brothers and sisters let us humble ourselves when you join in this prayer make sure that wherever you are humble yourself do not be ashamed of humbling yourself do not be ashamed of praising god do not be ashamed of calling the name of jesus do not be ashamed of praying singing and worshiping god in front of others you are humbling yourself when you do that the lord's blessing will come upon you you are prayers are going to pierce the clouds and go into the the mind of the lord and it will reach the heaven and bring the good 
news for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, when we pray for others, we are joining with the Lord. What is that Jesus is doing right now in the presence of the heavenly Father? We know after the death and resurrection of Jesus, there was after 40 days Jesus assumed to heaven assumption ascension of our lord jesus ascension of our lord jesus christ to heaven when jesus raised to the heaven when he went to the heaven he is sitting at the right side of the heavenly father let's read this ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 and 21 let's read this word of god ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 god put this power to work in christ God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places in the heavenly places so Jesus is seated in the right side of the heavenly father he is sitting at the right side of the heavenly father God put this as far far above all rule far above all and rule, authority and authority and power and power and dominion and dominion above every name above every that name that is named that is named not only in this age not only in this but age, also in the age to come but also in the age so to Jesus come Jesus is sitting at the right side of the heavenly father let's also read Hebrew chapter 1 verse 3 Hebrew chapter 1 verse 3 he is the reflection of God's glory. He is the reflection of God's glory. An exact imprint of God's very being. And the exact imprint of God's and very being. And he sustains all things by his powerful word. And he sustains all things by his powerful word. When he had made purification for sins. When he had made purification for sins. He sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. He sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. So Jesus is sitting at the right side of the heavenly father. That is what the word of God says. Romans chapter 8 verse 34. Romans chapter 8 verse 34. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Who is to condemn? Who is to condemn? It is Christ Jesus. It is Christ Jesus. Who died. Who died. Yes. Yes. Who was raised. Who was raised. Who is at the right hand of God. Who is at the right hand of God. Who indeed intercedes for us. Who indeed intercedes for us. So what is he doing at the right side of the Father? What does Jesus do? By sitting at the right side of the Father, He is interceding for us. What does it mean? The intercession. Intercession means like this. We all have to approach the Heavenly Father through Jesus Christ. How is it happen? For example, suppose I have committed so many sins. I am not worthy to receive the glory of God. I am not worthy to receive the mercy of God. I am not worthy to receive the forgiveness of God because there should be a justice. Justice is this. My sin should be punished. I should be punished for my sin. Therefore, I am approaching Jesus and say, Jesus, my sins are numerous. Please have mercy on me. Then Jesus approached the Heavenly Father and said, Father, forgive the Father Joseph. All the sins he has committed, he is supposed to go through the punishment but accept my precious blood which I shed on Mount Calvary and forgive him. The punishment which he is supposed to go through, he doesn't need to go through, I went through. You accept my pain, my blood and forgive him. And then the Heavenly Father forgives me because of the intercession of Jesus. And that is what exactly Jesus is doing for the last 2000 years. Sitting at the right side of the Father and interceding for you and me. Therefore, we can boldly approach the throne of mercy. We can boldly approach the throne of mercy and ask him for mercy. God will grant you mercy because Jesus died for you and me. And that is exactly what we call intercession of Jesus. He is interceding at the right side of the Father. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, we read like this Hebrew chapter 7, verse 24. Hebrew chapter 7, verse 24. We read like this. Hebrew chapter 7. But he holds his priesthood permanently. But he holds his priesthood permanently. Because he continues forever. Because he continues forever. Verse 25. 
consequently consequently he is able for all time he is able for all to time save, to save those who approach god those who approach god through him to through him since he always lives since he always lives to make intercession for them to make intercession for them therefore anybody who approach god through jesus christ there is blessing there is healing there is miracle because jesus will do for us jesus say father forgive them because i paid price for them you forgive them next person comes jesus says father forgive them i paid i i sacrifice myself on the cross so forgive him so likewise jesus is interceding for all of us praise the lord praise the lord therefore anybody who intercede for others when you intercede for others we become co-worker with jesus let's read first corinthian chapter 3 verse 9 first corinthian chapter 3 verse 9 we read like this for we are god's servants for we are god's servants working together working, working together. together you are god's field you are you god's, god's field god's build, building god's, god's building. building we are god's servants and co-workers with god why co-worker because we are also praying for others jesus is also praying for us so we are praying we are becoming core worker when we pray for others praise the lord praise the lord so that is the power of intercession and prayer my dear brothers and sisters